My friends, welcome. My name is Alvaro, and this is a channel uniquely merry. If you are new, please subscribe, hit the like button, and the notification bell. You can support my channel through your prayers by visiting my Etsy shop, also by becoming a patron through Patreon, and purchasing some of the items down below in the description. So you know, often as humans, we believe things not because they're true, but because they're convenient for us. And often our fear of pain and our fear of suffering will lead us to believe many things which are in fact not true. So take some examples from my personal life. When I was in high school and in college, I would often believe, yes, this exam isn't gonna be so hard, it's gonna be really easy, I'm gonna do so well, I don't need to study. Now, why did I believe those things? I believed them because I didn't wanna go through the suffering of studying. And I thought that I would have less suffering by not studying and then seeing how I did on the exam. You know, in a similar way, many people have wrong beliefs about purgatory, not because they're true, but because they're convenient and they seem to save us suffering. So many people will often believe there is no purgatory. Jesus doesn't talk about purgatory, even though three to four times he does in fact talk about it. Purgatory isn't going to be so long. It's going to be really short. I'm not gonna worry about hell, but I can't shoot for heaven. I'm just gonna shoot for purgatory in the belief that leading a less holy life will actually save you from suffering. Well, in today's purgatory story, we are reminded that purgatory can often be much longer than we have anticipated. We read in the life of Venerable Catherine Paluzzi that a holy religious who died in her arms was not admitted to eternal beatitude until after she had passed an entire year in purgatory. Catherine Pelusi led a holy life in the Diocese of Nepi in Italy, where she founded a convent of Dominicans. There lived with her a religion. Ooh, Alvaro! Just named Bernadine, who was far advanced in the ways of the spiritual life. These two saints emulated each other in fervor and helped each other to progress more and more in the perfection to which God called them. The biographer of Venerable Catherine compares them to two life coals that communicate heat to each other, and again to two harps tuned to harmonize together in one perpetual hymn of love to the greater glory of God. Bernadine died, a painful malady, which she bore with Christian patience and carried her to her grave. When about to expire, she told Catherine that she would not forget her before God, and if God so permitted, she would return to converse with her on such spiritual matters as would contribute to her sanctification. Catherine prayed much for the soul of her friend and at the same time besought God to allow her to appear to her. An entire year elapsed and the deceased did not return. Finally, on the anniversary of the death of Bernadine, Catherine, being in prayer, saw a pit from whence issued volumes of smoke and flames. Then she perceived coming out of the pit a form surrounded by dark clouds. By degrees, these vapors were dispersed and the apparition became radiant with extraordinary brilliancy. In this glorious personage, Catherine recognized Bernadine and ran towards her. Is it you, my dearest sister, said she, but when do you come? What signifies this pit, this fiery smoke? Does your purgatory end only today? You are right, replied the soul. For a year I have been detained in that place of expiation and today for the first time shall I enter heaven. As regards yourself, persevere in your holy exercises. Continue to be charitable and merciful, and you will obtain mercy. So my friends, even for people that are very holy, they often have to spend six months to a year, in this case, to even longer. How much more so for us? Therefore, let us not underestimate how long we might be in purgatory, and how much suffering there is there. Rather, let us suffer here on earth to become holy, to become true disciples of Jesus, to pray for the souls in purgatory so that we can bypass purgatory and on our deathbed enter into heaven as saints. My friends, let's persevere in being true disciples of Jesus. Let's continue praying for the souls in purgatory, and I will see you in the next video.